and welcome back guys to Heroes 4 of Might and Magic 4 Winds of War. Let's play. Anyway, it's gonna be a blind let's play of the first, very first campaign. That is gonna be a human campaign. So if you haven't watched my awesome stuff that was uh, Turn-Based Chronicles, where I did Heroes of Might and Magic 4 uh, Ice Age scenario, you should watch that because I'm awesome and sexy like a beast. Nonetheless, moving on, we're gonna go on to the new game like nobody's bitch. Go on to the Winds of War campaigns because they're the best ones, not really. Uh, I mean, they're awesome and sexy probably, I have no idea. So first of all, let's gonna go with the human campaign. I'm never gonna play any other campaign, so I'm probably not gonna even finish the first campaign. Probably never gonna finish them, so the true blade. I have been the loyal squire of Lord Lysander for more than 12 years. My name is not important because history takes no notice of people like me. Lysander, however, is different. I have known since I first set eyes on him that he would change the world. And he did. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So anyway, the first map, the very first map, we're gonna go with Mobile Guards, Intermediate Game. No, we're gonna go with the Advanced Game. Always I will be going to the Advanced Game because it doesn't give any buffs to the enemy. It doesn't give any buffs to you, but it makes all around you harder to kill, rape, and pillage, and burn. Your children, the good stuff. Now, the details, the field, the Normic and Kyleen heroes. Uh, so only lost can they lose, 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 ah, blue, ah, blue, Lysander. Anyway, map difficulty is a novice, novice, novice game, novice, novice game. <laughs> I think that's how I said. Anyway, carry over Lysander and two of your most powerful heroes and all of their spells, skills and experience, which again, I, why not items? I mean, you know, if you're gonna clear the entire map just because of the level, what's the point? Anyway, all of your heroes have a maximum level of 18. That's actually a big freaking level, considering the, the biggest level probably is 200. Anyway. <coughs> so, yeah, also, by the way, I'm gonna read every single thing, so you're gonna skip this. I mean, mind you, also, there are a huge amount of other LPs out there for Heroes 4. Awesome LPs, also. Not the bad ones, the awesome LPs, okay? So you should watch them, there are people that really try out for heroes, uh, for give all the love they can. Uh, so yeah, you should watch them, there are a huge amount of them, a huge amount, they're still continuing. You know, like Simplicity, he's still doing the freaking, uh, all the campaigns, I mean, Hell's Bells. I don't watch his stuff, mind you, I mean, his hero stuff, because again, it's mostly like, and anyway, the thing he like, I mean, it's gonna be blind for some, I don't, I don't like being like, thing, you know, it's, it's like somebody telling you the fucking book, who, who wants to know it, who wants to know that, I don't wanna know that, you wanna know that, I don't wanna know that, anyway, yeah, the good stuff, all, all in all, uh, the link to his stuff will be down there, somewhere, somewhere, yeah, anyway, I mean, most, most of these people that actually do Heroes 4 campaigns, they are knowledgeable of it all. So they they have raped, pillaged, and burned all their children. So, the good stuff. Anyway, so campaign is Lord Lysander gathered the remnants of the kingdom of Eratia and formed the new kingdom of Palidra. Palidra? Palidra? Palidra. Palidra. I'm glad it's gonna go with Palidra. It sounds more Palidra. But his greatest threat comes in form of a knight who claims he is the last surviving member of the Griffin Heart line. Lysander knows in his heart that this man is lying. So he embarks on a quest accompanied by some new friends to uncover the truth of this usurper's ancestry. Okay. Damn, there are a lot of stuff to read, mind you. A lot of stuff. So, yeah. Skip. Skip, people. Skip this shit. Palidra is in turmoil after a knight named Sir Vorton, claiming to be the Griffinheart heir and rightful ruler of the kingdom, publicly draws the Griffinheart blade from its scabbard, something only a Griffinheart can do. Lord Lysander remains in control of Paladra, but rebellious knights sorry, rebellious knight is getting popularity. Uh, some of the nobles have already pledged their allegiance to Sir Wharton and have seized control of four of Paladra's gold mines to fund his army. So we're gonna be fighting a lot of people probably. Hopefully only one, but I have no idea. This is as blind as it can get. So the drawing of the blade. <coughs> also, loading screen and on more stuff to read. Yay! I have been loyal squire. Oh, we, oh, we know that. Jesus. When we first met, Lysander had been a teen with the web thin whiskers on his chin. I learned later on that he had only been 16 when Queen Catherine knighted him. Everyone thought he was older because of his size. 
Even then he had been strong-willed and single-minded with an idealistic drive to make the world a better place. Perhaps if I were a proper historian I would begin my story at the beginning. I would write of the attack on Lysander's family that separated him from his siblings, killed his parents and forever fueled his hatred for the evil necromancer who performed the deed. I would tell of his quick rise to Eratian ranks and how he became one of the Queen Catherine's favorite knights. Perhaps I would even tell you how he led thousands of refugees through the portals of this new world before the reckoning claimed the old one. But I will not. I will tell you of the events that took place four years after the reckoning. Lysander was hard at work making his dream of utopian kingdom where no one goes hungry and everyone feels safe a reality. He didn't notice this atmosphere of disesfantification brewing in Paladra. I never knew how to actually pronounce that word so I'm gonna move on. Too many of the nobles were displeased with Lysander's insistence that we leave the old world and its memories behind and start over. The nobles who clung to the old ways liked their position in society. It was probably foolish for Lysander to expect them to just forget. But then, when Lysander sets a goal for himself, nothing can sway him from his course. Not even logic. Whatever the reason for the rebellion, it was a perfect climate for Sir Warton to appear. Wharton stepped before Palladra's court and claimed that he was the illegitimate child of King Glyphenhar, and thus the rightful heir to the Palladra as well. He used Lord Lysander's own argument against him. All these years, Lysander refused to call himself King of Palladra because he insisted that since no royal blood flowed through the, his veins, he didn't deserve to be called King. Sir Wharton's most convincing proof of his identity was the Griffin Heart Blade. Believed missing or destroyed during the reckoning, Sir Wharton presented the magical weapon to the court. To everyone's surprise, Wharton drew it from its jewel scabbard. It is well known that the enchantment forged into that glorious weapon allow only one of Griffin Heart's blood to draw it. Retaining control of Paladra became difficult for my master after that. It took all of Lysander's considerable leadership skills to hold on his position when half the country called for him to step down from the throne. In the end, Sir Wharton and his supporters swore they would take the throne by force if they had to. War was imminent. So all in all, he was an evil guy, helped other people, nobody liked him because of that, everybody wanted the monies and now everybody wants to kill him. Good stuff. Anyway, that aside, finally we are at the very beginning of the beginning. Well, uh, yeah, it's actually the beginning of the Heroes and Might Magic 4, after the Reckoning and after the destruction of Erathia and all other crappier islands around it. <coughs> Anywho, let's continue on. So, at, here we have three heroes. Mm, and let's see what we do have. We have Lysander, I presume. Yep, yeah, Lysander, level 1, class knight, alignment, life. Of course, he is life, he's a human. Now, let's see. Okay, we have some crossbowmen and we have some squires. Good stuff for us. But first and foremost, what I want to see, I don't care for anything else. Anything else, we have 10,000 gold. So I'm okay with that. That's cool, right? We have 10 of everything, 5 of everything. And the good stuff, the bad stuff, the other stuff, it's all there. Now, first and foremost, what I want to know is... Okay, we barely have anything in, the, uh, in our towns. This is Angel Falls. Good for them, I guess. Uh, okay. So let's see. Ah, yes. I wanted to recruit creatures. Can I hire? Yes, I can. I can hire heroes. And there she is. My Araya. So they said two heroes. I'm going to go with Araya. <coughs> okay. Araya arrived in Palladra with the Russian of Servan. Ret retinue. Retinue? Retinue of Servan. I, I don't know. I go with Russian. But again, I'm Russian. Not really. Many believe she's a princess from a far off land. Although Araya refused to confirm or deny such rumors. She's a haughty woman prone to giving orders, but she has proven herself to be a formidable commander as well, and that is true. If you have not watched my sexiness, you should watch my sexiness. Moving on, let's hire this hero. She's only 1,500 and I will have her in my army. Uh, should I get her here though? See, this is a fuck up. I have two knights now. Two knights. Two knights, people. Two knights. Maybe I should watch actually, first and foremost, what I actually have. What do I have here? Uh, life priest Adelaide Adelaide I don't like her can I get a new priest though 
I'm gonna get probably a new priest there. Let's see what do we have here. We have again adult level one knight. Don't care for you. So it's, again, two freaking heroes. That's gonna be a Ryan. That's gonna be uh, Kathy, my uh, freaking monk. Yeah, my monk actually. And oh, we also have two portals here. So one of these red. Okay, the red portal will lead actually anyone there. Okay, that's good because I want to immediately get Araya out of the castle. Okay, she's gonna get over here. Actually, everybody's gonna get over here. Thank you very much. You, uh, you guys go over here. No, 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 not like that, like that. Thank you very much. Let's get Araya out of here because I'm actually gonna rejoin Araya with uh, this monk. Here, the priest. Uh, so yeah, better, better do that immediately. Uh, oh, there is something very strange here. This abandoned sawmill could be returned to production if you defeat the creatures guarding it. Hmm. If you defeated the creatures guarding it. Okay, so I'm gonna get immediately some wood. I get her. Our, oh, cool. We are, we are immediately there. And Araya, again, Araya will be leading one part of my army. Uh, of course, Lysander, let's... Will he, well, he will lead his own party. Okay, you can often find some forgotten supplies near an abandoned campfire. So let's do that. Oh, 400 gold and 4 gems. And also, immediately, we're gonna go for the experience. Level <laughs> level 2 night. Yes. So, what have we went before? I do not remember. Though we do, have, again, they have advanced tactics and basic defense. Okay, so we have these two evil stuff, right? No, no, we have basic everything. Sorry, yeah, basic everything at the beginning you have basic everything so okay we can go with advanced stack that gives all friendly creatures plus two speed and plus 1.5 movement again speed very important in battle and uh, it also allows you to learn master offense master defense and master leadership again this is as blind as you can get still i mean i have played all that one scenario <laughs> and then uh, again that took pretty freaking long and uh, also i failed too many times and i honestly didn't really look at what i actually got for my heroes so anyway, advanced defense increases the melee and range defense of all friendly creatures by 20%. That's actually good. But I will go immediately for morale and luck. But I think that shouldn't be much of a problem for her at the beginning. So maybe get a range defense and melee defense for all creatures. Let's go with that. Because after all, she's going to be leading at the, at the beginning. She's going to be leading armies and then she's going to do the evil stuff with them. You know, not, not, not poor, no porn, but still. Shrines of Magic te teach new spells to heroes capable of learning them. This particular one will teach a level 1 spell. Okay. So, what I'm going to do also here in Brisbane. We're going to go into the Brisbane and get immediately. Yes, I'm going to immediately hire my first, my main hero. That I'm going to actually uh, lead these armies with. So, because we can only carry two, right? Genie can't really uh, join our par party, that is. So, what I'm going to do is find Major Order. No. Nope life thank you very much and find my cat Kathleen although Kathleen came from a large wealthy family she always pitied those who weren't as fortunate as her when she was a child she gave away all her toys to poor children and even stole food from the kitchen as an adult the priesthood seemed a logical choice it's logical now get her excellent now we have the party that I actually wanted to have so let's buy these guys again yeah we did waste a bunch of monies but it's okay, bunch of monies, it's not a problem. I don't care, to be honest. Let's see. I mean, it's, this map's supposed to be easy, so I'm guessing it's not supposed to be very hard on me, but again, Hell's Bells, we do have all dozens and scores, that is, of enemies all around our castle, so let's see how just that's gonna go. Okay, let's buy these creatures. Uh, yeah, okay, excellent. Uh, okay, this army, of course, will be joining. Oh, and by the way, I do have two priests here, of course, priests, that is. So I made my, instead of uh, Genie, though I, again, I love Genie to have. So she has to be in one of our main castles to produce, to get Lord Scale, that is, she's a Lord, and she should get Warlord class, to become Warlord class, that is, and get her stuff up, and get nobility, and the good stuff that she can produce more units, and course give us more monies that again very important again i did uh, screw up i think maybe i know i didn't I actually didn't screw up anything it's all good i just don't like having these two heroes that's and, and this actually i'm gonna just utilize maybe uh, to just travel around see what's happening and stuff like that to having another monk i'm gonna actually send her maybe with lysander or stuff like that uh, yeah i'm gonna put 
her in Lysander's army and she will heal him. So let's do that. Let's see. What can we do here? Shrines of Magic. Tick, new spell to heroes capable of learning. Let's do it shrines. Can we learn? Spiritual armor. Excellent. Always a good thing. Slowly you touch the shrine with both hands. And energy passes through your skin, enveloping you. Sensing your familiarity with life magic, it passes on the knowledge of this mystical place, teaching you the spiritual armor spell. Excellent. No, we're not gonna attack. We're gonna actually just go over here. Uh, are there any shrines of magic? I mean, not magic, I mean the good stuff, the bad stuff, the ugly stuff, you know, the good stuff. The experienced shrines, the experienced shrines, that's what we want. There are huge walls here, though. There are a lot of magi here, that's always a bad... Again, most of the units are again dozens and scores, so dozens is from 30 to something, scores 60 to 90, stuff like that, or something like that. Anyway, still have to learn that one. Uh, backpacks over, often hold item useful to an adventure. We could go out for that, but as you can see, we're very close to this castle, but not to the Lysanders, to the Angel Falls, that is. We have another Good Springs. Okay, that's nice. And nonetheless, let's move her towards Lysander. She is a very important member. Oh, the Beastmaster Hearts, you can learn a primary non-magic skill for free. It's always good to have, I guess, secondary skills for her, but again, to level 18, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, maybe I mean definitely resurrection and heal, but that's all in life. Let's see, just let's learn a little bit. You see, you see, yeah, basic life magic. I'm gonna go for basic. I mean, well, for the life magic, completely on my priests, because again, I want the resurrection and want the good stuff, the bad stuff, the ugly stuff. Oh, okay. Lighthouses increases your movement over water. This is the first time we're seeing a lighthouse in a game, so that it's all blind, man. All the blind stuff is blind. So I'm gonna get that skill nonetheless, cause I'm sexy. Basic combat, you're gonna have to all choose, okay? Mm, so, she'll be, e she'll be eating some golden beetles. No, they're magical war beetles. Well, if they're made of gold, you will eat them. So anyway, basic combat. Yeah, I mean, again, just for in case, she might get close to the enemy and she might utilize some evil spells or maybe she's gonna get gangbanged by a bunch of goblins. You never know what's gonna happen there. Or they're goblins, okay? The good stuff. Okay, so get more guys. Again, we have 761 actually crossbowmen and 76 squires, which is a lot to be honest. Well, a lot. Plus, the squires have the ability to purge the enemy and unclean. So, there you go. Can we immediately buy here? What do we have? We have a level 1 spell thingy. We have buying wound, bless, and exorcism. I don't think our. Uh, our priest come with that. Let's check that thing out. Let's see her spells. So no. So she only blessed the spiritual armor that she got from that magic well thingy. Lysander, you will be rejoining. Mm, as this is resource wood, actually I'm gonna be taking that. And she, well, we'll be rejoining her because she can't do that. Well, she she does have my many movement points, so nonetheless. Let's set up again the formation where our main hero will be in front, and of course crossbowmen in behind the beautiful uh, flail people, squires. <laughs> so yeah, okay, we could get no, we can't. That's okay. What the Lysander has actually from his stuff, he has only basic tactics and basic defense. So nonetheless, he's level one knight. I will try to level up again most of my main heroes that I will be leading to the next level scenario. If I ever continue this, you never know. Every single next video could be the last. So hell's bells, nonetheless. Let's see, what formation do we want? This is a loose formation that I usually go. At the moment, we're going to go with the tight formation because uh, depending upon the ammo we fight, Nonetheless, 60 to 24, 10, 10, 10, 10, everything is 10, plus 1 to morale, good stuff, the best stuff, the ugly stuff, it's all there. Great, just great. So we will definitely need this uh, basic combat. And plus we have some long sword, uh, just a regular sword, we could buy it actually from our towns, but hell, I don't think we have the ability to actually buy anything at the moment. Uh, okay, learn spells, learn skills. Uh, hire hero as a prisoners that we do not have. Choose a governor that we do not have. Marketplace that we do not have. Oh well, wait, we do have marketplace or else bells. That's gonna be good. But we're gonna build angels for us first because that's our main stuff. That's where Lysander is mostly. He's gonna be around it anyways for a very long time. So yeah, mm. holy cathedral. We can go for that or get immediately caravans and just transport our stuff. Mm. 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm not gonna go with Ballista, that's for sure. Stables provides army plus five movement for next time. I uh, may actually go for that first. You know why? Just because at the very beginning, it's the very beginning of the game, and we might need a more movement than anything else. <coughs> but that could also be a bit fair because there's a beautiful chest of a hell Pandora's box. Wow. No one can tell what sh uh, for sure what is locked inside the Pandora's box. Take care when you open one. Great, that's the first time we see that also. So there you go. Also, there's a big diamond. Oh, a sapphire of defense. Grants a one-time boost your defense. Damn. I'm gonna get that as soon as I can. So let's see, this bastard, he's gonna... Hmm, can he have... I mean, he has a bunch of troops around him here. I, again, I would prefer to only have specific heroes here. I mean, why do I get two knights? I mean, two knights and a priest. Why? why I mean, what? Why, why do I need a knight in a game? Give me something better. Nobleman or something. Oh, man. Let's see. Lord, that is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, I'm gonna buy these guys. Why the hell not? Can I? Do I have enough monies? I have enough monies to buy every single one of them. And they will, of course, be rejoining just for lols. And we're gonna be taking our stuff, like, here. And there are, of course, the Lost Pirate Gate. There is no telling when someone or something will come from this point on. So that we have to find this green one. Maybe, maybe it's a green one. We have to like the same colored ones. Hell's bells. I have no idea. There is also a purse of gold. First time again seeing it. Gives plus 250 gold per day when equipped by a hero. I think this is the first time we're seeing it. I do not remember it getting it in a previous battles. Magic well, we never actually utilize it ever. So I think we never actually utilized it. In uh, Ice Age scenario, peasants can be recruited from here. Peasants are actually good to have because they give you juicy monies. So, you know, like, it's always good. I'm gonna get all the peasants just because they give you 36 gold each day. So, that's good. There you go. Uh, generally, you will find a potion or two inside medicine bag and thank you. Wagon. Wagon. A potion of toughness. Okay, the hit points of hero who drinks the potion to pull increase by 25% for duration of one combat. Okay, Cloud of Despair. And again, I think this is not a bad one. Uh, bad, well, bad against the morale, that, that's for sure. Potion of Endurance. Mm. The army who drink this potion gains plus 3 movement. That's a good stuff. What do we have here? We have scores of, of, of leprechauns. Oh, leprechauns. Let's, go, let's call them leprechauns. Oh boy, I, I forgot. I think we fought once against these bastards, and that's about it. They have a fortune, allows this creature. I mean, we did cast a bunch of them, though, with Spock. To cast the nature magic spell, fortune. So, uh, 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 I, I mean, what we need because of just to build more stuff, right? But we have some buildings like, like these, where you can just recruit certain units on the freaking field of glory. Crossbowmen can be recruited from here. Really? Yeah, let's see what more we have. Scores of sprites. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna fight these bastards. Sprites could be dangerous uh, compared to the leprechauns. Mostly because they have a flying ability, so they will reach our targets before they can do anything else. Well, before leprechauns, that's for sure. So leprechauns being the slower ones, but they have the fortune. Let's see how we are dealing with that. We have plus one on morale and zero on luck. But we do have 41 crossbowmen. We could wait a little bit and just get more, or I have no idea. I'm actually gonna split maybe some peasantry. Like, let's split them like this. Yeah, like this. 18, 18. Excellent. Or like this. Yeah, maybe like this. It's gonna be perfect. Block the enemy actually reaching the crossbow, man. They might be our last chance, our last hope to do anything. Let's get inside Good Springs and see what we can get there. Of course, spiritual armor and stuff like that. Purchase a building. Uh, can we even buy anything here? I don't want anything, to be honest, from this position. Abbey. Ooh, plus two morale until the next battle. You know what? That's a good thing to have. I'm gonna immediately fight with this weak, weak ass army. How much does it cost to buy Lara? 1,000. I'm gonna buy it. Hell's bells. Why the hell not? Uh, so we again don't have any movement points anymore. But we bought certain things. We lost certain things and good stuff like that. Purchase a building, Abbey, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Abby. It's, I mean, why not? Just uh, for the beginning of it all. We could get Katy out of the freaking Brisbane immediately with that army and rejoin, of course, Araya. Excellent. And that's it. There you go, people. We are all ready now. We are like beasts. Like beasts, I tell you. Like beasts. Excellent. Excellent. This is excellent. Now that I am mostly... my Well, most of my troops. I will be getting my Androgeny. Just because of the war skills. I don't know how... I mean, the map doesn't look big. But that's even worse. Because who knows how many enemies we have. Let's see that. Thieves Guild. Okay, well, we are fucked, kinda. I mean, we have, like, four enemies. The red one is the most, like, he's a monster. Again, the red one, Jesus. And the, again, the yellow player is behind him, so great there. Oh, man, we have some evil stuff here, nonetheless. Income, red and me are, I mean, we are there, but income for everyone else. And in towns, actually, the green and yellow player don't have towns, it would seem. Or that just signifies they have only one town. Probably one town. I mean, they, the armies can't have, you can't be there without any kind of a town. Unless they have to wait. and wait. I mean, if they wait for seven days, they're fucked. I think, at least. So yeah, let's end this turn. We bought most of our stuff, so let it, let's end it there. Red player, green player, teal player. That's teal. I knew that color. I knew it. So yeah, I'm gonna first and foremost let's go over here. Spiritual armor for Catty. No, not not that. Thank you very much. I think I'm gonna get there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Did we get that plus morale thing here? Where I have to do this. No, I don't. Nonetheless, let's buy a bunch of these guys that we actually don't have. Like crossbowmen and the evil bastards that are squires that they tend to forget their name also. So there you go. Purchase a building. Mm, can't really do much with it, the amount of money I have. Cathedral level 2. Ooh, we could get teachers, uh, teachers 3 level 2 life magic spells. Here, who, okay. So I don't know if she can immediately learn. She's only level 1 priest. I don't think she will be able to learn any of these spells yet. I guess, again, that's something I yet to really get into and learn. So that's gonna be interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna buy it at the moment. I'm not gonna buy it. She has eno good enough stuff. Let's see, we have some, again, scores of these sprites. But I am guessing my beautiful Araya will be able to actually clean those bastards right off. Holy water. Ooh, some unlucky adventure had met his fate at this spot because you find his backpack among some bones and torn clothing. Okay, just holy word thingy. Fountain of strength. Oh my god, yeah. For this we'll be going because at the very beginning we definitely need a fountain of strength. Helped our enemies many times. Plus 25% onto your strength. So it's gonna be awesome and sexy like a beast. We did get basic combat. Well, we didn't. I'm gonna teach him. He has basic combat, of course. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go for the experience. Uh, why? Well, I mean, in the long run, I will probably be able to. I'm gonna now get the, no the noble dude. So, yeah. Uh, get the gold for experience or 2000 gold for us. I'm gonna go for the experience. We didn't get any. Mind you, why? Because that, that experience goes on all both heroes, right? So, you have to, like, be a little. It's a little bit tricky. But. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. I believe. Believe me. It's gonna work. I mean, yeah, it's, again, it's you definitely have to scour the entire map for the full experience and all for your all heroes, that's for sure. I mean, uh, but this way he would have gained the level immediately. But nonetheless, uh, okay, okay, one of these spells, bless. Okay, for whatever monk we actually have here, I should learn her name because she's gonna be there for a long time. Ada. Uh, let's go with Ada. Eh. The big A. No, Ada. We're gonna go with Ada. So let's see, a Sephiroth defense grits one time. Ooh, oh, who will be getting? You pick up a Sapphire of defense, have enough time to wonder about its worth when its power seeps into your skin. All that is left of the gem is a lifeless gray rock. Okay, so they both gained that or just, or I have to choose. I'm gonna go with Lysander. So let's see, uh, defense, right? Okay, is this the thing I'm supposed to? Uh, range, I have no idea now. This is again 21, right? Yeah, I think that's it. I think, uh, Hell's Bells, let's say yes, it is. I didn't really look at it too much. Ha! 
Backpack, Sovereign Hold us. Awesome. Of course, I'm gonna get that. Plate mail. Perfect. I don't have to buy that. Excellent. These adventures suck ass. It would seem they die everywhere. Someone has slain a wealthy merchant, left him there in a, the path with a long sword still in his bag. Ooh. You remove the sword, examine the plain weapon. Nothing to indicate who might be responsible, but the sword is still true and strong, so you keep it. As for the murderer, the trail is cold. There is nothing you can do. So much from your utopia, that's for sure. Nonetheless, two-handed weapon, mind you. I think, no, it's a long sword. It's not a heavier thing because a long sword does 10 damage, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, he also has the crossbow of pure evil. So he can't die. So do remember that he can't die. I have no idea who the hell is guarding that, but I want my production resources. Scores and dozens. I would be interesting to see how this is gonna be, but first and foremost, let's collect that experience and not get into the aggro radius, which is the yellow thingy was gonna stay like maybe here. Ah, there you go. For now, we're gonna stay like there. So let's see what our friend Dolt, uh, Dolt, I'm gonna call him Dolt, will actually be doing here. He's a knight, he's an awesome person. Yeah, I wanted to go towards here, get her that plus whatever. I think it's like plus whatever, do what this, what we, if we, that's how it works, but I don't believe it. Nonetheless, uh, okay, let's get our crossbowman and do it like this, excellent. So, okay, I think he has now some buffs, maybe, I have no idea. I forgot where actually you look for buffs and stuff like that, but nonetheless. Oh yeah, plus two on morale, actually, that's the thing that we got inside here. That's cool. Two peasantry, that's okay. I'm gonna leave them there as they are. Because they're building here every day anyway. So, now these bastards wouldn't attack you if they don't know. If, if they think actually, well, if they know that they don't stand a chance. But if, if they don't attack you, did I, that sound like that? Jeez, now I'm lost. What, what was I talking about? God damn it. Nonetheless, they will attack you if they have a chance. They won't attack you if they don't have a chance against you. So, I'm gonna attack them. I mean, I believe I will be able to defeat them, but scores uh, or dozens. Who is better? Dozens or scores? Scores is, I mean, 54, 43. I think I'll be able to handle whatever. If I lose, man, I'm not gonna save again. I may save from time to time. I may save. I'm actually gonna save. Maybe. I mean, it's a campaign. It's not like a single person here, but I don't really care if I lose. But if I wanna win, I actually. I'll have to like, it'll be very tough for me if I, I'm gonna save, but doesn't mean I'm gonna reload. Just, just check, I mean, I have to learn after all, all this, and even if I lose overly too many times, it's gonna be quite interesting. Let's see, well, let's do our first battle for the end of this video. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely defeat these guys. Leprechauns have plus one plus, but they can boost the fortune, that is the luck, and that's always a bad thing. Luck is the most needed thing in heroes, so everybody goes for it. One to two damage, so really not really much. Then... Uh, damage the modifier 10 10 8 health really and 6 of course initiative which is always a good thing to have but we have more initiative and this is the first time we see a human knight hero we usually have a raya in our party so we see always a girly hero with the boobies anyway uh, let's see yeah 16 to 24 13 10 10 i mean it's the same with them the same thing 10 defense against hand to hand attacks uh, attacks and 10 of course damage modifier against range attacks Plus plus three on our morale, so that's always a good thing. S six initiative. Let's see the initiative. Three plus one four. Uh, let's see six plus one seven. So all in all, we have a better initiative than most of them. Well, except the except the peasantry, and our crossbowmen actually have a low initiative, lower initiative than the freaking leprechaun. So we have to remember that. Okay, uh, we I have failed first and foremost. Again, I always fail. To move my units into certain positions, you can see from this position, I don't think we'll be really able to move through this little gap here and here. So they're gonna probably go towards this. We can close it off with most of our troops. So I'm gonna move this. Um, how? What is your name, man? I can't remember your name. Dolt. Yeah, Dolt. I'm gonna call him Dolt. So yeah, I'm gonna move my squires a little bit closer while my crossbowmen actually deal the massive damage. Yeah, you boost that luck. The only thing that will help them with that luck is, of course, the ability to damage you more than just like 1 to 2, or just do like 2 to 4, maybe. We don't know. We don't know, people. We don't know. Okay, I'm gonna move my peasantry over here. Okay, so he is now safe. These guys don't have any ranged attacks. We're gonna go from left to right. 8 to that. Excellent defense. 
defense. Too bad we don't have any heroes that can boost our defense like any of our uh, beautiful priests. But I would probably go with another priest, but I'm not. I'm going to go with the nobleman. I have to get the nobleman before we get in the turn. Do they have to remember that? We have to. We need one. We need the people. That. Okay. Defense. Thank you very much. Uh, you're gonna die like a little bitch. You're gonna die. We're gonna immediately go to the nine. This guy is dead anyway. <coughs> they know what I want. They are going to the left. It's a smart AI. They know they have the gap of Casa Doom right here. Or should the gap of Rohan? <laughs> Just go for that. Fuck it. <laughs> so he's okay. 16 and 70 here. Excellent stuff for them. They're not gonna really again do much, but they again have more I to see initiative. Yeah, we have more initiative than uh, my, of course, my peasantry. It's always a bad thing. Uh, I don't think they'll retaliate. They did their attack, so I might actually do some damage here. We'll see. Okay, so they do, but okay. He's kind of dead anyway. He can't attack him, though. Okay, we need to kill these guys. They're close to our main force. As long as they concentrate on my hero, hero will be able to hold off. Dolt will be able to hold off. Okay, excellent. Low morale on them, more morale on morale on us. So that's always a good thing. Excellent. Minus two. Uh, let's try and, and hit them from the sides as much as possible. I don't care if peasantry actually dies here. Uh, we can't do anything with this Squire Sally. He's too behind. And yeah. Okay, we'll have to worry about a little bit about our a hero. He will die probably in the next turn, but we'll attack him. Excellent. Six dead. The <laughs> nine leprechauns going around the bush. Around the bush. It sounds evil, but it is. Around the bush. Mm, let's do it like this. Excellent. Excellent. Double attack. Double tap. Right there. Can we attack them? Oh, we can attack them from this side. Excellent. We should go immediately with our squires to the sides. Just for in case to help the Dolt do his stuff. Excellent. They're dead like nobody's bitch. I don't care again for my uh, freaking evil bastards here. They will be doing some damage. Uh, for why the hell did I buy them anyway? I mean, I think I got it from free though. <laughs> so anyway, good stuff for us. Best stuff for them. You will be dead now. Maybe, actually. not. No double tap on a leprechaun. Unbelievable. That's okay. We really didn't lose that much. Only peasantry. Like seven peasants against 67 freaking uh, leprechauns. Like even Irish would be proud of this. Again, leprechauns being the nature enemy. Nature enemy of evil. Okay? So we have to worry about that. He looks like he has like one, at least one point he does. It's a joke. It's a joke. So there you go, people. First, very first video of Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 8. HD edition, but it's actually 9, so it's all good. So the next time, let's see how close are we with our... I mean, we, uh, we are very close between uh, these two towns. So between Good Springs and between, of course, and Brisbane. We are very close. These guys are very close to each other. But the main town of Angel Falls is the, uh, the farthest one away. But it would seem that the enemy, the only way for them, if they are on the right side here, it looks like they are the only way to reach... Uh, us is across the valley of shadow that fears no evil but he's a blue and stuff so there you go here from this position here if they use boats altar of tactics teaches you one tactic skill i mean i'm gonna i mean there are a lot of new stuff here mind you uh, this is a very important thing because there are a lot of new stuff around the map that i've never seen before so it's gonna be interesting to see again you can see a beautiful looking game here a uh, beautiful amount of detail main people can put into this uh, <laughs> I like this. This is beautiful. Uh, uh, what is passable by armies? So this is a shallow water. You see, I never knew that. So this, okay, water rivers, okay. That are one tile wide. I have a movement rate of one, okay. But they are impassable to ships. Uh, water rivers that are wider than one tile are impassable to armies. So is this like what? Um, is this like what? Okay, okay. Is this one tile? I don't get it. Okay, this is one tile, so our armies can actually pass across the rivers of Casa Doom. But that's okay. The good stuff. Nonetheless, did I save? Did I save? I forgot, did I save people? I said before the battle, but nonetheless, I wish you all the best.